Good afternoon again, my friends. Jason here from Griptape. Wanted to show you another new node that you can take advantage of to hopefully make your workflows a little bit more fluid inside ComfyUI. Um, some of you may be aware of this merge text node, which you can use to take some text and merge it together and deliver it to something. So here is a very simple example where I've got two bits of text. One says this is the first string. The other says it's the second string. I then merge those together and it basically combines them into a single string, which I can then pass to an agent that of course has no idea what to do with those two strings, but it does want to help, which is always kind. Anyway, while this is a very handy node to use, it does reveal a bug in Comfy UI, which I will demonstrate now. So let's say that you want to take these three nodes, the merge text, the display text, and the run agent, and you want to just sort of group them all together into a single node so that you don't have such a giant mess of stuff in your Comfy UI screen. If you select those three nodes and you do right mouse button, convert to group node, and you call this two inputs to agent, for example, like that, it will create a single group node that basically will take those two inputs, run them, give them to the agent and give you that output. And if we cue this prompt, you will see, you basically get the same uh, result back. Now this is cleaner to look at because it's a single node instead of multiple nodes, but you've got all of these extra inputs and agents and outputs and things that you don't necessarily want to present to your user. So if you right mouse button over that and you choose manage group node, you get this group node management tool that allows you per node that would be inside that group node to control some things. For example, on the merge text node, we had six original inputs and we could say this is going to be our first input like that and this is going to be our second input and then we would say, you know what, let's hide all of these other inputs. We don't want to see them at all for that first merge text node. Then let's go ahead and look at the agent. Uh, the agent, we don't want to display the agent coming in. We're just going to use the default one that we've created. And on the outputs, we don't want to see the agent coming out. If I save this now and close it, what you'll see is my first two inputs here are called first input and second input, like I said. And the output is just that one output. The problem is you've got these other three displays right here and you've got the string display. It's not quite as neat and tidy as you want it to be. This is a bug that happens with, let me go ahead back and convert this to nodes. With the merge text node, each of these inputs are designated as strings. And so what happens is when these inputs are strings and you look at this in the group node and we call it, you know, whatever we want again, we manage that node. What happens is those strings show up under the widgets category. So you've got inputs, widgets, and outputs. They show up under widgets and you cannot hide them. So the solution to that, my friends, is this new node we've created called merge inputs. So inside the text area, grip tape combine merge inputs, you just drag that right in or double click type merge inputs like that. It's very, very similar to the merge string, except these merge input nodes are treated as inputs, not as strings. So I can go ahead and take the two inputs here, just like so. I can go ahead and create a new agent like that. I can pass those in and I can take the output and I can feed it there. If I run this, I will get the same response that we saw before. But if I take these two and I go ahead and I combine them into a group node, I'm going to call them to input to agent two, because it's the second time we've done it. I've now got my two input to agent two. Notice it looks exactly the same as the one above at the moment. But if I go to manage my group node, you'll see these merge inputs all show up on the inputs area, not the widgets area. So I can come in and hide each of these inputs that I don't want to see. I can go to the agent and I can hide the agent input that I don't want to see. I can hide all the other strings. I can hide the output and if I save this and if I go here and I name this as first string and then name this one second string save close you can see now I have a much more compact node and it just says first string second string and the output and it works just as we would expect but we have a much tidier node we don't have this mess up here the other cool thing about using the merge inputs node here instead of the string node is that they will take any kind of text. So for example, instead of just bringing in the, like a string, I can go ahead and let's create a, let's create a rule. For example, if I take this string and I plop it in here and I take the rules and I plop it in there, the rules will connect. 
And if I display the output, like so, you'll see it takes the first string and it also takes all the information about the rules and throws all of that together. Again, the cool thing is you can throw anything into the merge inputs node and it will combine them all. So I'm just gonna take those rules. I'm gonna put that in there. And let's just see what happens here. Cue the prompt. And it just says, how can I assist you today? It basically sees the rules and goes, oh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna use those rules in there. So that is the new merge inputs node. Use that in place of the merge string if you would like to and uh, enjoy and have a fantastic rest of your day. Thanks very much.